Welcome to my most modest dwelling. Let's do some exercises. I wonder where Winston is with my tea. Wow, impressive. Sorry about the state of this room. I haven't renovated in twenty years. In narrow spaces, I'll squeeze through the gap automatically. <sighs> this looks like fun. Go to the white line. I won't fall off, I promise. To make me jump, pick a direction and press the jump button. If you press the roll button, I'll perform a roll. I can get to higher places by scrambling up certain surfaces. Simply press the jump button while pressing towards the appropriate surface. When holding a ledge, press left or right to shimmy. Those should act like quippers. If I jump forward and throw my grapple, I can attach to them and swing. Great jump, we made it. <sighs> uh, I need to find a way to open the gate that's blocking the stall. Ah, yes, now I remember. The gate will rise once I've thrown a kettle ball into each of the openings. I wonder where all the kettle bells are located. And voila. A bill with Winston's handwriting. Miss Croft, this is the invoice issued by the locksmith for the recent repairs to the freezer. Hopefully, this will avoid any future unpleasantness. Winston. An apology from the renovator. Miss Croft, having now examined our original documents versus the blueprints from which the work was executed, we have discovered that the initial designs were measured in feet, but the blueprints were drawn up in meters. This is the reason for the oversized proportions to your kitchen. An update from my contractor. Done at last, just the way you wanted. I've got to say, this is the most fun I've ever had on a contract in my entire career. It reminded me of the old Enid Blyton books I used to read as a kid, with secret passages everywhere. I don't know what you're going to hide under those stairs, but your secret is safe with me. Henry D. A letter from Jonah and Abby. Hi, Lara. If you're wondering about that new machine in your garage, it's a gift from me and Abby. I picked it out because I remember what you like to ride, and of course she had to spend some quality time with the engine to make it more efficient. What can I say? Me and Abby make a great team. Thanks for everything, Jonah. A letter from Reyes. Hey, Lara. Just a quick note to let you know how things are going. Alicia started university studying psychology, but she spends more time writing songs on her piano. She's got talent. I don't know where from. Things are good at the garage. I'm building up a solid core of regulars. One of them has been dropping hints he wants to ask me out, but he's a cop, so I don't know. Alicia thinks he's cute, and you know her. She's even more stubborn than I am. Hope things are good with you, too. I know writing's not really your thing, though, so no pressure to answer soon. Joss. Lara, I thought you might like to hear of recent events in the valley. It has been difficult for many, adjusting to existence without the divine source. But we have found new purpose in expanding our knowledge and abilities. Primarily, we've become more agricultural, and our discipline has served us well. The crops and livestock flourish. Many of us have begun to discover and embrace modern technology, myself included. I'm learning to pilot a helicopter. The sensation of flight is liberating. I hope you are likewise well, Sophia. A postcard from Corianca. Lara, greetings from Argentina. Abigail kindly volunteered to fly me here after I accompanied her back to Kuakiaku. One of our conversations led to the topic of snow, and I knew I had to experience it for myself. So she suggested Tierra del Fuego. I have now experienced my first snowstorm. I'm certain I shall never grow tired of experiencing the marvels of this world we live in. Corianca. Seeing all these documents together has me thinking, I've done so much in such a short time. I wonder what's next.